So YT Omnes, uh, today's class is just to go through the translation of the first batch of set lines, one to 56. I know we have gone through the first few, um, but I'm just purely for today, just going to go through how the translation works and we can leave uh, specific techniques um, separate because I just feel it takes a long time to uh, go through both at the same time. So as I keep saying, the key uh, to everything, even though it's not a, um, an assessment in its own right now, uh, it's not, there's no scene translation anymore. Um, the key to everything else is knowing the translation and just being on top of it. So just any tips and uh, tricks and things like that to help you um, get on top of the translation. Okay, so uh, not even really look at the context, okay, but it is um, Aeneas about to speak in the Carthaginian court. Of course, he's landed in Carthage, um, blown by the, blown, of course, by the wind. Uh, released by King Aeolus, doing Juno's bidding, who detests the Trojans. Here's why she does it. Okay, so uh, so he's about to uh, recall um, the fall of Troy to Dido and the Carthaginians. So, all omnes, uh, conticure is a historic infinitive. So, it's a poetic shortened form of erunt, um, and it's called an infinitive because it, the, the, the shortened ending, the syncopated ending makes it look like an infinitive. So contiku ere, uh, which is a compound of takeo takere takui. So whenever you have a compound, it just becomes tick. So con, con tick is like saying contact. So all fell silent, que, and they literally held I guess they turned their face and they held their gaze towards Aeneas. So they held their aura. So os oris is mouths, but synecdoche for faces, intenti, which is an adjective, but you can just treat it like an adverb, the intently. So literally all intent, intent people. I'm not sure you can say that, but um, they all held their faces intently. In day, then, or just from there, after that. Pate Aeneas, so father of his people. Father Aeneas, seek thus, that's a long I by the way, began, so autos is a deponent verb. Often in poetry, if you're going to cut out a word, it is going to be um, a form of sum. So autos, as I've written, is autos est. Uh, thus began, um, Ab alto from his high toro couch. And he says, O Regina, O Queen, that which is Dido. Ubase, you order. Now, this was in the OLC, by the way, and one of the stories just tailored towards simple grammar, but uh, and pretty much borrowed from um, this line here, but they added the word me. You order, Ubase, me. Renoware, to renew, like the word renovation. So make new again. You've got to renew an object. Infandum dolorem, unspeakable grief. So that is an OLC three word, accusative. And infandum, so we've have, we have uh, infans infantis, which uses the PAP of for fari fatus, the opponent verb. And that means speaking. So an infans infantis is a baby, so someone who's not speaking. Can also be someone who is not a baby, but who is unable to speak. So literally a dumb person. Uh, infandum, on the other hand, is the, um, is gerund or gerundive? Um, a ger, not, yeah, not, uh, I think it's a gerundive. So not to be spoken. So fan, fandus a um. So infandus would be mean literally not to be spoken, therefore unspeakable. You order me to renew unspeakable grief. Uh, ut, uh, in this case, is an indicative ut. Um, and you can tell because the verb in the clause is not, 
present or imperfect subjunctive. So it just, it just means as or when. When the Danai, so the descendants of Danaus, um, otherwise known as Greeks, destroyed, uh, rushed out, ruo ruere, so it's um, the perfect subjunctive, so, but just you can just translate indicatively. Destroyed, just loosely. Trojanus opes, Trojan power, opes being a, I think it's a late OLC, OLC three word. And the sorrowful kingdom. Uh, so lamentabile, we get the word lamentable from there, of course. Que and et, both and, both very wretched, miserima, things. So the a is an understood neuter plural noun. It's very common with a lot of words. Both very wretched things, quae, having a counter ready for que, which, ipse, now you've got to look at the verb to know what self it is, but it's I myself, fui, was, uh, uh, which I myself, sorry, weedy, uh, saw, et, and of which, quorum, fui, I was, a magna pars. So pars is the declension. It is feminine because a magna. So if which I was a great part, and I hope he would be a great part, seeing it's called the Aeneid, um, named after Aeneas. Bando, speaking of um, gerund and gerundives. So this is a gerund here. So by speaking, that is he's speaking about himself. So by me speaking, that is Aeneas saying, sorry. Talia, like miserima. Talis tale, vocab, I think, 24. Such things. I'll just scroll down here. By saying such things. Uh, quiz. Who. Now, they, here are two um, genitive plurals of people. Uh, with the uh, enclitic or suffix where. Which is a which is less common than que, but it means or. So which of the Myrmidons, followers of Achilles, or Dolopians, people of the Thessaly, just really just um, just specific words, just generally um, for for um, for all intents and purposes, meaning Greek. Or uh, which soldier Miles, not to get mixed up with milites, the uh, the plural. Duri Ulixi. Now it says Ulixi, but it agrees with Duri. So Ulixis being uh, Odysseus being third declension, it should be Ulixis, but it just says Ulixi. So, or soldier of fierce Odysseus, temperate, perfect, uh, imperfect subjunctive. Might might actually sounds okay here. You you can usually translate indicatively, but might sounds okay. Might temper from tears. So he's saying that even the um, perpetrators of the um, violence, um, those who instigated the fall of Troy and its destruction, um, would even um, be reduced to tears by this um, story he's about to tell. Et yam, and now, the umida nox. So nox. Uh, I always say that any third declension noun that ends in X, if it's not Rex or Dux, king or leader, is um, invariably feminine, which is why it's umida. We get the word humid from there. Now the dank, damp, humid, da, um, moist night. Praecipitat, where we get the word precipitation. Falls, Kylo, from the sky. Que. And the cadentia sidera, so sidus sideris, usris is often, is um, invariably neuter, the declension nouns, it is a masterman's word. And the falling stars, swadent, uh, kind of related to persuadent, but they urge somnos, literally sleep, but you can just say sleep. Said. 
So all that just means is that um, when he's speaking, it's getting pretty late. Uh, said, but see if uh, armo your strong desire. So um, just desire to hear the story is what he says. So desire cognoscere to get to know. You got to get to know an object which is nostros casus our misfortunes. It's brevite and briefly. Uh, the word um, et is joining two infinitive. So if you want to also get to know and also to hear, you got to hear an object, the supremem laborem, the last hardship of Troy. Yeah. Uh, but, so, so, but if, so, oh yes. So, but if your strong desire to do this and to do this is tan, is, is understood, is, is understood, is tantus, so great. So that agrees with armor. So that means that armor, third declension, no marker as to what its gender is. That must be masculine. Uh, so if your desire is so great, and note the um, potential significance of armor. So by telling this story, it's playing a role in um, Dido and Aeneas falling in amore, in love. Quam, quam. Although my, that is Aeneas's, animus, my mind, horet, uh, fears, shudders, bristles, um, such as um, hair on your skin standing on end, shudders, meminise, to remember. So a defective verb, which is uh, where it is three tenses in form, and the other three tenses in any. So it's perfect in form, um, but presently mean. That means you cannot say, I have remembered. Um, there's no perfect form. There's no perfect meaning. There's only perfect form. So that means that the principal parts are perfect because usually you get with normal verbs, present, um, the present forms, present uh, indicative and present infinitive are the first two principal parts. So these ones are memini say, memini, memini say, Odi, odi say, koepi, koepi say. Um, I hate and I begin and I remember. Uh, they are defective verbs. So, so this is just to remember, not to have remembered, which is what you, usually perfect active infinitives translate as. So, although my mind uh, shudders to remember and re, refugit. So, even though horet is singular, by virtue of the scansion, this must be the past tense. So it shrunk or it has shrunk, look to, from morning. So just, um, yeah, a bit of um, PTSD from the fall of Troy. So it just has an impact on him um, emotionally and he doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna talk about it. But um, if you insist, I guess he says, um, I, will, I will do so. So he says, I will, I will begin. Uh, so just to scroll down on the Latin for the first time. I'll begin, in am. So that is a mixed conjugation verb, am, 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 az. I've just broken it up because of the, because uh, of a subtitle. So now he talks about the horse entering the city. So. Uh, fracti, having been weakened, literally having been broken, having been demoralized, ballo. So you've got two PPPs followed by two abilities. By the war, que, and repulsi. So palo, palare, puli, pulsus. So um, that's like repel, repulsion, someone who's repulsive. Expel, expulsion. So two PPPs. Having been, um, I'll actually change that. Uh, uh, yeah, so no, don't worry about that. So having been uh, repelled batis by the fates, the ductore is just a variation on the word ducase. Danaum is a shortened form of um, danae, so the genitive plural of that, danaorum. So just to fit into the meter. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so by the way, um, very importantly, that is not a, that's a stem and an ending, that is not a diphthong.
So Danaum, not Dan, not Danaum. The leaders of the Greeks. Tot indeclinable adjective, uh, ablative absolute with so many years. Tot anis labentibus, PAP, slipping by uh, 10 years to be exact. So they'd laid siege unsuccessfully um, to Troy for 10 years. With so many years now slipping by, uh, what do they do to, to um, break through? They identificant. They build an equum, a horse, in star montis, uh, literally worth the mountain, but you'd say the size of a mountain. Uh, arte or diwina, so that A must be long for the scansion because it's ablative, agreeing with arte. There must be also a, um, a six foot trochee by the divine art of Pallas. So Pallas, Athena, Minerva. So goddess favoring the Greeks. Que, and in Texunt, they inweave its costas, its ribs, with secta, secta, sorry, with cut fur, abiete. Uh, not sure whether that's abjt or not. It would say in the scansion file. Uh, I have a feeling it would be abjt because that would make that the dactyl, fifth foot dactyl. Uh, abjt. abjt. Um, and this, yes, yeah, this must be a long A as well. So like do we na uh, sectar is ablative singular. Agreeing with another I assume Abiete is a third declension now. Oh, yeah, it would be a third declension now. With cut fur, uh, type of wood, not F U R. So, simulant, like the word simulation. So, simulation in soccer, pretending to be hurt. They pretend. Uh, so we have an understood essay, so that it is um, a votum, a votive offering, pro ready to, pro plus ablative for their return, um, for their safe return, you could say. And then AR Pharma, so what I've been saying about is and is forms of is and ila being interchangeable. So this would be ila pharma. That rumor, wagatur, a deponent verb. So like the word of vagabond, a, a vagrant, someone who wanders. So a uh, deponent verb meaning, uh, you'd, you'd say uh, a rumor spreads, can also mean spreads. Hook, to here. In English, you just say, come here, stay here. But in Latin, there's um, different here's for motion and just staying. So this one's a motion one. To here. Sotiti, uh, which is the PPP for to cast lots. Uh, so having cast lots, plural people having cast lots. They furtim, like the word furtively, it's an adverb tucked in before the verb. Includent, like the word include enclose a corpora, literally bodies, virum, uh, that's short for virorum, of men. Uh, so, a body of, uh, of a delecta, oh, hang on, how does, how does that uh, work? Um, oh. So, that seems to agree more with um, corpora. So a selected body of men, body of selected men would make more sense. I'll probably fix that up. Just tinker with that on the word file. Uh, of selected men in the dark body. So a 
and they fill the hollows. So, uh, oh. the hollow there. Uh, now, hang on. Um, now this has to go here. So I imagine that is in the, I'm usually used to kite cross meaning blind. Um, ah, yes, it says in the dark body. So in the side, yeah. So kaiko, oh, it's not a word you've encountered anywhere, but it means blind, but you'd say dark in the dark body. Um, so in the hollow of the horse. Que and complaint. Uh, that is a masterman's word. They fill. They fill the uh, kawenas. So another must, I think it's another masterman's, uh, oh no, not another masterman's word, but um, you, can, you can work it out. The hollows of the huge something, it's an understood noun. So I'm just saying huge space inside uh, and I imagine penitus is inside. It's the only word left there. Que is like putting et here. So they fill the hollows of the huge space inside and the uh, uterum, where we get the word uterus from, uh, the belly, armo milite. Now it's singular with, it's with an armed soldier, but it's uh, clearly plural. Uh, an armed, you could say soldiery. Tenedos, now that is just nominative. Est in conspectu, quite straightforward Latin there, is in sight. Uh, tells you what Tendos is. A famous, I've said very famously well known, but you would say very known with fame. So that makes Farama a uh, spondy, a six foot spondy. A famously well known island, Dewes, rich, one of three adjectives, by the way, which. Um, is is e e third declension adjective. So rich, poor, pauper, and the other one, uh, old, wetus, wetus, wetteris. Rich in wealth, usually that's what rich means. Uh, dum, while, uh, the regna, the kingdom, uh, literally kingdoms, that's regnum, we've encountered the word regnum before. Priami of Priam remained. Uh, you can just add but to make it flow, but now uh, tantum. Uh, it can mean so great. We've encountered tantus with Aramo before, but um, also quite commonly it's an adverb just meaning only. But now only a sinus, masterman's word, a bay. Uh, and uh, now literally, I'll just scroll down the Latin. And not, so, uh, so yeah, so uh, what happens here? A safe anchorage for ships. So carinis for keels, synecdoche representing ships. Um, so yeah, male fida is like saying badly, badly faithful in a way, just to, just not safe. <laughs> so badly safe, you could say. Anchorage for ships. And uh, proecti, having literally weho, wehere, having driven forward, having advanced themselves, you don't have to say that. Uh, when you have proeho and say it just means advanced. Hook again to here. Condunt, they, they can mean found, establish, can also mean settle. A store can mean a few things, but in this case, you'd say they place um, themselves. Oh, the, the condunt can go with a say as well, actually. In deserto litore, so litor, litus litoris, another us rister declension noun is uh, neuter. So that's why it's deserto, so ablative singular. Uh, they place themselves on the deserted shore. Um, they place themselves in ambush on the deserted shore. Where on earth is in ambush? Um, I'll 
have to hmm. I still have to check that oh that might be um place it might be a part of the verb so to mean to place oneself in ambush um because clearly there's not a word for that okay so going on with the story uh rati another example where we've cut the word um cut the form of sum out so nos uh tells you that it has to be sumus so we thought ray or ray or i think it's ray or ray ri ratos i think it is yeah uh we thought uh so uh, we have an oof, an interact statement which is just has the um just has the infinitive that they had gone away so perfect active infinitive and that they understood had sought so two perfect active infinitives uh my so just so just gone back to greece with the wind in their ships uh so here's the trickery of the greeks at play therefore omnis tukria so all of troy so the land of uh, tuke an ancient trojan king loosened itself so this by the way um i'm pretty sure in the blue book it does say sol wit in the latin library it sometimes says solu wit um but it's a uh, sol wo so sometimes use appear as these i have written that on i should have written that on the um excel file so loosen cast off say themselves this is more figuratively from long go look to so u sixth foot uh spondy so from long morning of being under siege for 10 years the pod taipan dunto passive verb the gates are opened uh, and understood a sinaton uh impersonal use of you wo so usually it means he she or it helps but impersonally and a big clue that is impersonal is it's the he she it form and it's also followed by an infinitive so it uh, delights or it pleases us understood to go it and to see where am i again to we dare just another word for Greek, the Dorica Castra, the Greek camp, uh, which is uh, neuter plural. So plur one of those plural in form, singular in meaning uh, nouns. The Greek camp and also the desertos, the deserted locos, places, sites, queer, uh, letos, as I said, is neuter. Accusative is just letos again. So letos, 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 letos are um. The having been abandoned shore. So the Greeks making the Trojans think that they have uh, given up. So hik. Here. The manus, so it can mean a hand or a band of men, and here's that word again, dolopum, of just uh, dolopians, Thessalians, or just you can just say just generally Greeks. Here, the band of dolopians, Thessalians, um, encamped. Uh, where is that word? I can't see that. And uh, here, here. Uh, Cyrus Achilles, savage Achilles, or cruel Achilles, sorry, um, 10 day bant, mm. uh, must mean encamped. Um, not a word I'm too familiar with. Uh, another here and here uh, was understood the locus, the place, classibus. Dative plural for their fleets. Another here and here. Sole bant. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the word you get sol wo mixed up with. So, because sol ui is the past tense of soleo, ao ere ui. 
they were accustomed curtare, so that's the verbal form of men to fight it out with us understood akie in a battle line just uh so uh, a fifth declension now ablative singular meaning just uh from with by battle in battle some of us literally a part stupid like being stupefied marvel at inuptai so uh, like the word nuptials un unnuptialed you could say so at unmarried minerva's genitive so i i ex exitiale gift so a a um adjective alis ale uh, adjective form of exitium meaning um so exitium is destruction so adjective bringing destruction deadly donum gift so it is not alis it is ale because it is neuter so it's a third declension adjective um, didn't know it was deadly at the time, but this is um, an air speaking after the fact. Et mirantur, deponent verb. They admire the molem, the, uh, the, the bulk, the massive structure, the mass, it's a massman's word, equi, genitive singular of the horse. Que primus, and firstly, at first. So these are certain uh, Trojans who are speaking um, about the horse, whether to take it in or not. Thymotes. Uh, hortato, another deponent verb, urges, uh, indirect statement with another understood accusative, it do key, third declension present, a, a passive infinitive, to be taken, intra plus the accusative, inside the walls, Et, another present um, passive infinitive, locari, to be placed in, uh, in arche, understood, on the citadel. Uh, and we've got, uh, it can either be siwe, siwe, or say, say, but here they've um, changed it. It's kind of like neck and neque. You can say neck, neck, neque, 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 or neck, neque. Whether dolo, by deceit, by a trick, or um, you can add because just to make sense. Now, Troy's Fata, fate, but you can just say fate. Uh, Pharaoh Bunch was bearing, uh, was moving um, as such in this way. So, um, so they're, what, he's just saying that, uh, yeah, well, Troy was fated to fall, and um, they are going to be tricked into bringing this ho the horse into the city. At Capis, but uh, don't get that mixed up with at que or ac, which is and, it's but. Um, and, it, and it's showing a, um, <clears throat> a turn in the text as well. But Capis. And um, now, quorum is a uh, masculine plural, or it could be neuter plural, but it's talking about men here. So just understood antecedent. Men of whom, melior, comparative adjective, better sententia, like the word sentiment in a way, better judgment, menti, I guess that's what judgment is, literally for mind, but of mind sounds better. It's like saying presence of mind, existed, understood. Uh, you've got to skip down to here. Ubent, order us, understood. Uh, we have ought, 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 uh, split between here. So we've got to just deal with these two lines here. Either to, when you order, so you, praecipitare, uh, so literally to, um, it's like precipitation, as I said before. Uh, Throw into, throw down. The uh, again, dana orum, syncopated form for Greeks. The Greeks trap, another plural in form, singular in meaning. Another plural in form, singular in meaning, a noun meaning trap, ambush, trickery. 
to throw the Greeks trap, uh, you could say and, but it just is what, what it is, and the suspecta donor, the suspicious gifts, um, into the uh, sea. Uh, oh, uh, Pelago. So that's a masterman's word, um, just so in Pelago, in, in the sea. Uh, queer and, so that's joining to um, infinitives, to burn, urere, literally with, uh, ably of absolute, with flames having been put under, literally thrown under, so sub yek, sub yakio. Uh, so we've got some competing, um, competing thoughts on where to bring it into the, bring the horse into the sea. Or to te, uh, terebrare, to bore its hollow belly, literally hollows of its belly. So this is the genitive of um, uter, uh, uterus before. The kawa, so anything like um, a K, like it's like hollowed out. The hollows of its belly. Uh, et again joins to infinitives and to tamper. Um, latte brass. So it's a tamper with um, hiding places. So latte means to lie hidden, and this is a noun form of uh, that. So places where people lie hidden. Skin detour, the, uh, so, oh, so to start off here, that's the verb. Um, in curtum, wulgus must be neuter. It can also be wulgus, a, a, more, a more archaic form, but here it says wulgus. The uncertain crowd, so they're not certain whether to bring it in or not. Skin detour is divided in contraria, like the word contrary, into opposite Studia can mean keenness, enthusiasms, inclinations. There's no such words as enthusiasms, but uh, there are some who are enthusiastic to take it in and some who are equally enthusiastic not to take it in. Uh, so, ibi, there, mangna, with a big, uh, with a big, now, comitante, um, is accompanying. Now imagine that uh, katua must be a crowd, not a word I've really encountered before. Um, so it's ablative, so it must be a spondy. Ablative absolute with a PAP. Um, yeah, so being comes comites to um, him. With a big crowd accompanying him. Ante, now it says omnis, but it's um, for all intents and purposes omnes. Before everyone, in front of everyone, Ardens, uh, figuratively burning, so passionate. Eager, laokuon, Trojan priest. Primus, first, decurit, compound of kuro, runs down arx archis, as I said, third declension noun, and in an X, if it's not a leader or a king, it must be, uh, mm, it must be feminine. So from the summa, so that must be a long A for your scansion. From the high citadel, uh, is that what I said? Um, from the top of the citadel, yeah. Et procul and far off, from afar. Understood, he shouts. O miseri kiwes, O wretched citizens. What such great madness? So quite straightforward Latin there. You haven't encountered the word insania before, but I think you can work it out, like the word insane. Okay, what? Um, so creditis, do you believe another, um, another ablative uh, not absolute, absolute indirect statement. So hostes, hostis, often ace is presented as is. So that the enemy 
uh, literally awektos esse, so a perfect passive in Finland, that the enemy has sailed away or has been driven away. So just like we had prowekt, prowekt before, now if awekt, which is saying abwekt, like driven themselves away. Or uh, putatis, do you think, uh, so accusative, indirect statement, that any gifts, again, syncopated dana orum of the Greeks, karere, lack, so one of three words in the OLC which takes the abrive, are free from or of tricks, deceit. Is understood, Odysseus known uh, notus, known like this, is this what he is like? So he says, ought, ought, again, either or. So either, either, where are we? Akiwi, another word for Greeks. Greeks, inclusi sunt, are being, like we said included, are being concealed. Uh, or, oh, sorry, so it's occultanto are being concealed, uh, inclusi, having been enclosed, hoke, that is a long O, ling no, by this wood, or hike, um, that has to agree with, it's feminine because it agrees, machina. This fabricata est, like to fabricate, um, has been built, perfect passive, as a machina, as a machine in plus the accusative, onto or against our walls, to use on our walls. Uh, future active participle, inspectura, about to inspect, about to, uh, to spy on, loosely, our domos, queer, and when Tura about to literally come for, um, it's a fall onto, uh, fall onto, and this is really strange how this works, our city from above. So, oh, I see, come uh, for our city, dative, singular, de super, um, yeah, just uh, adverb meaning from above. Or, Aliquis error, some error, some other deception. So he feels like an error, like something is wrong. Latet, as I said before, in relation to latte bras, something lies hidden. O Tukri, O Trojans, O people of two care. Uh, this is just like saying noli, um, and another way of saying noli te credere. So don't believe, don't trust, takes a dative. The horse. Quid quid, whatever it est, what IE stands for, whatever it is. Probably the most famous line in the Aeneid. I fear Greeks and uh, really should be dona ferentes, but again it's is. Uh, it can mean even in this case, even when plural, when bearing PAP, gifts, new to plural. Sic fatus, having spoken thus, having said, having spoken like this, uh, he threw, contorsit, a huge spear, an ingentem, bit of funny word order, ingentem hastam, a huge spear with powerful force. Again, that's walidis. Like a valid invalid, invalid means sick, so um, valid means strong. Wiribus, very uh, strange noun. Wis, wim, we, we race, we race, we reum, wiribus, wiribus. So power or strength or force in the plural. So it only has nominative, accusative, and ablative in the singular. Uh, so he threw this spear. <clears throat> Uh, 
um, with powerful force, and that's where the uh, section ends. In latus, uh, into the side, so in plus accusative neuter singular noun, latus, 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 into the side uh, of the, it says of the beast. Where is the beast? Where? Okay. Uh, can't quite find that word. Yeah. Uh, and into, um, hmm. and into the uh, structure's curved stomach. The curwam, curved, alwum, not a familiar word, stomach, uh, compagibus, oh yeah, for the structure. Oh, oh, the, um, the, the, the beast is a uh, fairy of the beast. There it is. Ila, that understood feminine noun, hasta, spear, stetit, sto stare steady, stood, tremensing, P-A-P, -P, quivering, queth, and, uh, ablative absolute, with the womb, like I keep saying, we've encountered the word uterus, uterum, uteri, um, with the womb, the belly of the horse, recuso, reverberating. Uh, so kind of related to the word percussion, which is to hit. And so this means, I guess, uh, relate to being hit and um, it's, yeah, shaking. So the spear, so just like um, if you throw a spear into something, it shakes for a little bit. Uh, so stood, um, <clears throat> quivering, uh, and queer. Oh, sorry, with the room, with the womb reverberating, the cavity, sorry, the car Y, literally the vaults, the, the caverns. Um, so that's just the empty belly of the horse. Insonuere, another um, historic infinitive, resounded, made a sound. So related to the word sonus, so just the verbal form of that. Queer and Another historic infinitive, it gave, so it really should be dead erunt, but it's not, gave out, you can say, a uh, groan. Oh, it says the, um, it says the, it's like the, the kawai, kawai kawernai, the, the cavernous, uh, oh, I, I see, it says, it's almost like say cavernous caverns, but they, um, it, it sounded hollow, so it rang hollow. So the, um, yeah, so the vaults, um, I'm actually not sure which word is which, but that's what it means. It um, rang, it uh, gave a groan. So gemitus is a masterman's word. And uh, like dana um, deum is uh, not God object, it's deorum here of the gods, so another syncopated form. If the fates of the gods, or if the god, uh, the gods fate, and if um, our, our, our collective mind, but you can say minds, we set, pluperfect subjunctive, had not been laiwa. Uh, this is mentioned in the lectures. Uh, Ill omened. So, um, so just, yeah, so not wary of this um, being a trick. He, that is La Quone. Um, now it sounds better to say it, it, it's, it's, it's he had driven, um, but you'd say incited can also be a meaning. Uh, would have sounds better here. He would have incited us, foidare, to disfigure the argolicus, another word um, related to argos, so just another word for Greek to disfigure the Greek latte brass hiding places pharaoh with iron, with our swords. Que and Troia, so that's Troja, so that this here is a first foot dactyl, Troja, Que, and Troy, um, 
Uh, literal sounds best for the imperfect subjunctive. Might now stand. Might still stand is what he's trying to say. Queer. And uh, he's speaking directly to the, um, the, the arcs. So you might stay, you might remain. O high alta arcs. So again, citadel is feminine. Alta is, as you can see, it's not altus, altum, it's feminine. O high citadel, high stronghold of Priam. So that's a, uh, just a companion for the first uh, section of the text.